Hey second graders, it's Miss Kickard again. Um, I want to talk to you guys about math. It's such a beautiful day. I thought, well, let's just bring the math outside. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of review, just a quick review of all the strategies that we've talked about this week for math for this problem. 327 minus 143. And we're going to start with base 10 blocks. And remember um, from Mr. Williams' video earlier this week that when you're using base 10 blocks for subtraction, you're only going to draw in the blocks for your whole number, which is the first number in your problem. So 327, and then we're going to take this amount of blocks away. So we're going to start with 300s. One, two, three, and two tens, and seven, oops, those don't look like dots, and seven ones. Now I'm going to switch to my red marker so that we can X out 143. Now remember, when we're subtracting, we're going to start with our smallest value, which is our ones. So I'm going to take away three ones, one, two, three, then I'm going to take away four tens. Uh-oh, I don't have four tens, so what do I need to do? That's right, I need to regroup one of these hundreds into some tens. How many tens make up a 100? That's right, all day, every day, 10 tens make one 100. So there's my 10 tens. So all I've done is take this 100 and regrouped it into 10 tens. Now I can take away my four tens. So I'm going to say one, two, three, Four, and that leaves me with eight tens. And then I'm gonna take away one 100, and so that leaves me with one 100. So if I look back at it, I have one 100, eight tens, and four ones. So my answer is 184. Whew. All right, next strategy. We're gonna talk about the number line now. On the number line, we're gonna work backwards from the number line because we're taking it away. So when we were doing addition, we were starting on this side of the number line. But for subtraction, we're gonna start on this side. And again, we're gonna start with our whole, which is 327. So I'm gonna start by writing 327 in. Then I'm gonna work my way backwards. So I'm gonna work my way backwards. I'm gonna subtract 100. So 100 less than 327 is 220. Oh, yep, 227. Then I'm gonna take away four tens. And I'm gonna do this in two sets. So I'm gonna take away two tens, so I'm gonna subtract 20, and that's gonna get me to 207. Then if I subtract 20 more, that's gonna get me to 187. Now I need to take away my three ones, so I'm gonna go one, two, three. And when I do that, I'm gonna get to 186, 185, 184. So I got the same answer. So I must be doing something right. All right, let me switch around over here. And we're gonna work on some expanded form. And this is the strategy that we were talking about yesterday. Um, okay, so we're gonna start by doing expanded form for 327. So we're gonna say 300 plus 20 plus seven, and we're gonna be subtracting here. 100 plus 40 plus 3. So this is expanded form for 327, and this is expanded form for 143. All right, so now we're going to do some subtracting. So we're going to start with 7 minus 3. So 7 ones minus 3 ones, and that's going to get us to 4 ones. And then we're going to say 20 minus 40, or 2 tens minus 4 tens. We can't do that, so we're gonna come over here to this 300, and we're gonna think 300 minus 100, and that's gonna leave us with 200 here, and then we're gonna add that 100 that we subtracted into our 20 that we have here. And that's gonna give us 120 or 12 tens. So 10 tens plus two tens is 12 tens. So now I can say 120, minus 40, and that's gonna get me to 80, and then 200 minus 100 is gonna get me to 100. And then to get my final answer, I'm just gonna look across. 100 plus 80 plus four, and that gets me to that same answer of 184. But I can't be sure that I've done all of that correctly. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna check my work with addition. 
And remember when we're checking our work with addition, we want our answer to be 327 because that's our whole. So we're gonna work our way backwards. So we're gonna take the answer that we came up with here, same one that we came up here, and the same one we came up with here, and we're gonna add it to the 143. And if we do that and we get it correct, we should come up with 327. So I'm gonna say 184 plus 143 equals, and I should get 327 if I do it correctly. I'm gonna choose to do this problem on a number line. So I'm gonna start with my larger number, which is 184, and I'm gonna jump 143. So I'm gonna make a one jump of 100, and that's gonna get me to 284. Then I'm gonna make, a, um, I've gotta make four jumps of 10. So I'm gonna do it in two chunks, into two jumps of 20. So I'm gonna go, one jump of 20 and another jump of 20. I could also do four different jumps of 10, but I know my jumps of 20 are gonna get me to 304 and then 324. And then I just have to do my jumps of one. One, two, three jumps of one, and that's gonna get me to 327. So I did it. I solved it correctly in three different ways, and then I checked my work with addition. All right, second graders, now it's your turn to try. Hop onto Seesaw, check out activity number four. This is an extra activity for the week. And on this activity, you're gonna get a chance to prove to us that you know how to use all four of these strategies for subtraction. Happy learning, friends, bye.